To start out with my piece, I first have to find a great image that I can use and modify for my collage. I want to make sure it has really good resolution, so when I click on that image, I just want to make sure it's not pixelated. Then I'm going to copy and paste it into a new Paint 3D project area. So you can see I've pasted it in here, and I'm just cropping it really quickly to get rid of some, some extra space that I found. And now I'm using the canvas option here and I'm enlarging my canvas to about twice the size of my object so that canvas is that background space that I have to be able to work in to build my collage. Now I'm just using that select tool so again on the left top left that select feature allows you to click and drag over an area of your piece and I'm just pulling out these little rectangles and I'm arranging them in a way that I think could be kind of interesting for my collage. Remember you're trying to alter the original image and create something new with those pieces, something kind of non-objective, uh, something that's not going to look like anything in particular, but more of an abstract design in this style. So again, that kind of broken apart piecework kind of art is really reminiscent of cubism and by using something from pop culture I'm kind of tying in something fun there by using my cereal box object. So you can see I'm just continuing to click and select little boxes and dragging them over into my canvas area on the right to finish out my design. I want to try to keep my spacing pretty even as best I can. So now you can see I'm just putting the finishing touches on. I'm trying to get each little space filled in. I don't want white gaps that look too incomplete. Once I'm happy, I'm cropping away the extra space. You can see I used that crop tool on the top. And then I want to save my piece as an image. And that's it. This piece could go pretty quickly for you if you're going the digital route, but likewise, you could do this with an actual physical front of a cereal box. The only difference would be the materials that you're using, but you'd still be cutting them apart, piecing them together in an interesting way.